Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I wanted to take a moment and talk about test delay. This is having to do with when a new test comes out and teachers have to wait a, a long period of time before scores are reported. This is for all new exams. Now, this delay in test dates and getting your test back, um, some teachers don't realize it uh, because you know you don't always take a new version of the exam. Normally, you only have to wait three or four weeks. But uh, this, this is going to impact teachers that are taking right now the uh, 278 math and science or the 178 general curriculum exam for history and language arts. So I thought we'd take some time and we'd look at it. All right. So let's just clarify those exams again. This is for teachers that are taking the new general curriculum 78 test. And this test is composed of two sub exams. The first one is history and language arts. That's the 178, history, language arts. And then the second one is math and, and uh, science and technology. That's the 278. There are a lot of teachers that are going to be taking these new exams to meet that new general curriculum multi-subject requirement for their teaching license. Maybe you're listening to me right now and you're one of those teachers. So I want to look at when these teachers are going to get their scores back or may get their scores back. Now, this exam was released on August 21st. Normally, if you tested on August 21st, you'd wait a couple weeks, you'd get scores back probably around September 21st or late September. But whenever they delay scores, it's different. Let's look at previous exams that have just come out and look to see how long those teachers had to wait for those scores. Okay, so I have a slide up here. This is from a year ago, and uh, it has some information on it that's really helpful. So I'm going to take a closer look at what this is saying about the MTEL 70 uh, technology and engineering exam. And then we're going to look at the early childhood 72 exam. Let's start off with the MTEL 70. This is a test that came out last summer, uh, um, August 22nd. So, so the new general curriculum came out this summer, August 21st. This one, the Intel 70, came out on August 22nd last year. And these teachers had to wait a long time. They had to wait all the way, look at this team. They had to wait all the way till January 21st, 2023. That means that if you were a teacher taking this new Intel 70 test and you tested on the first day, August 22nd, uh, normally you would have received it, you know, sometime around, you know, September, let's just say right now, September 22nd. But, but because of the delay, that teacher would have had to wait uh, one month here. Then we're going to go to October 22nd, another month. Let's go to November 22nd, another month. Uh, December 22nd, another month, all the way to January 27th. So it's actually over five months. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. They had to wait five months. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that's a long time to wait. Now imagine this. I mean, I need to pass. I need to pass. Who's ever felt that feeling? I need to get my scores in. I got to test as fast as I can. Let's do this. And then you have to wait five months for scores to come back. The year is, is over. It's half over, right? That is a long wait. Now let's look at the 72. So the MTEL 72 is the early childhood exam or the new early childhood exam. This, is a, this was a very popular uh, exam. This is like the general curriculum exam, but for early childhood teachers, teachers teaching in pre-K all the way to second grade. Very, very, very important exam. Now, this one came out on February 3rd, 2023. So let me write that down. Came out on February 3rd, 2023. And, and this one's a little different. And this is important, team, the difference. This team, they had to wait till March 3rd. Didn't get it. Uh, um, April 3rd, didn't get it. Uh, May 3rd, May 3rd, uh, they didn't get it. But then they got a notice in May saying that scores were to come back on June 3rd. So sometime around the third to fourth month, they got a notice and they got their scores back the fourth month. They only had to wait four months. Now, this is why this one's important. Think about the timing of this exam. This is the early childhood exam. It's a very important exam, just like the new 78 exam, right? I mean, this is like most of the teachers are taking either the 278 or the 72. They're, they're taking these, these 78 exams or the 72 exams. Very, very important test. There's not a whole lot of teachers taking the MTEL 70. 
Okay. There, there's just not, but there are a lot of early childhood teachers taking the MTEL 72. And there's a lot of teachers, elementary school teachers and special education teachers taking the, the MTEL 78 exams, right? So the way this was timed, it came out in February and they, and teachers got scores before the end of the year. What does that mean? It means that they get to tell their schools if they passed or not. Principals get to look to see if teachers passed or not. They got their scores just in time, a very timely date. Okay. All right. Now, how does this apply to you taking the new general curriculum exam? I had a feeling your exam is going to be more like the early childhood, maybe around four months. So let's go back to that original slide. Let's go back here and look at this one right here for teachers that are taking, you know, the 178 history and language arts and the 278 math and science. Look at this. It came out August 21st. And if we just add four months to it, so that would be September 21st, uh, October 21st, uh, November 21st, and finally December, December 21st. And that is just before you are leaving for winter break. And that is the perfect time to drop a test, right? <laughs> Happy holidays, right? Can, can't you see that happening? Friday, December 21st, you get an email late on a Friday night, right? After you're, uh, you're away on winter break. I'm just saying that, well, that, that may not, you may have to wait till January 21st. But I have a feeling it's definitely probably going to be, it's, it's a lot. It, well, what does this mean? Whether it's this date or this date, what I'm trying to say, team, is it's gonna, you're going to be waiting a while, right? And so for the teachers that are in the class right now, teachers that are, you know, taking the new 278 math and science, or teachers that are going to be in the classes coming up for the 178 history and language arts, you need to realize that there's no rush to get, there's no, there shouldn't be any rush here. Because whether you take it in September or October or November, chances are you're going to get the scores back at the same time sometime in late December or early January, right? So this is not going to be something where the faster you test, the sooner you get. Absolutely not. You should never rush into a test like that, but you should never do that. But but in this case, there's absolutely no, no, there's no reason why you should rush this uh, and take it when you're not ready. Now, no, normally I say to test within 30 days of a class or six weeks of a class. Um, I don't think you should take a class and then wait four months to uh, take the test. But I just want teachers to know that there's no reason to rush in this, okay? So so please, please give yourself a, some time to study. If you take a class, you've got to give yourself a couple of weeks, at least a week or two to study. There's no benefit in rushing this right now. There's no pressure because even if you test in September, October, or November, or maybe even December, you probably you probably won't get scores back till late December or January, okay? All right, team, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.